Scattered across Tasmania's mountaintops are plants that look like they belong on another planet. They've survived blanketing snow, strong winds and the blaring sun for hundreds of years. But there's one threat they can't quite match. Unlike a lot of Australian flora, like gum trees, uh, wattles, uh, banksias even, these plants have no natural defence against fire. Once a fire comes through, they're gone forever. With climate change bringing hotter, drier conditions, the risk of losing these ancient species is rising every year. The plants won't adapt in time. That, that just doesn't happen. That's too slow a process. So it'll be a case of some of them getting by where they are, others will survive in other places, and others will go extinct. In a bid to stop this from happening, plant enthusiast Harry Lush is turning to everyday Tasmanians and their backyards. He's collected hundreds of cuttings from alpine plants, which he's given to people to care for at their homes. We're looking to create a large-scale urban climate refuge for these plants, a place where they'll be safe from the dangers of increasing temperatures, decreasing rainfall and increasing fire prevalence. The idea is that if a bushfire sweeps through Tasmania's alpine regions, seeds and cuttings of the plants being nurtured in suburban backyards like this one could be used to fast-track reforestation efforts. More than 200 people have signed up to take part in the project, turning their gardens and balconies into mini refuges for the uniquely Tasmanian plants. I think there's something really beautiful about um, taking a moment to recognise where you're actually living, the land that you're living on, um, and what's unique about it. For Harry Lush, the project's also about getting more people to fall in love with the plants he considers the most spectacular in the world. But they're beautiful in a way that I think is incredibly special. Um, to me, that's their importance, is, is how they define our identity and how they inspire us. Cultivating growth with an eye on the future. Monty Jacker, ABC News.